Hello, welcome to the Friday, January 31st, 2020 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Augusta, Georgia. I want to start today with a little bit of a longer segment talking about some upcoming changes to Chrome. Chrome is going to release version 80 next week on February 4th, and it comes with some changes to the cookie policies that I think are worth mentioning, and some of the details really haven't been discussed well, I think, and some of the impact these changes may have on applications. Until recently, so the way cookies worked essentially was that a site would set a cookie and whenever a request from a browser was sent to that site, the browser would include the cookie no matter what triggered the particular request. This of course led to heavy abuse. It led to some user tracking. It also was some of the reason why cross-site request forging became such a big deal. When a malicious site triggers a request to a website to which the user was already logged in to, then, well, the browser, of course, would send the session cookie, and with that, sort of malicious requests could be triggered if the site didn't implement additional steps to prevent cross-site request forgery. So to prevent some of these issues, a new cookie parameter was introduced, same site. The same site parameter essentially limits what requests that are triggered by sites that did not set the particular cookie will actually send the cookie along. So if I'm logging into a website, the website sets a session cookie, I'm going to another website without logging out, and that other website will now trick a request by submitting a form, by loading an image or whatever, then I can limit whether or not the cookie is being sent along with that request. Now, you've got uh, three different options with the same site parameter. First one is none, and that's essentially the behavior we have right now, where the cookie is sent uh, no matter what website is triggering the request. One of the restrictions that was sort of added here is that if you are setting same site none, you better set the secure parameter and do everything over HTTPS, but that should be sort of default anyway these days. The next setting is lax, and lax is sort of the nice in-between setting, and it's a proposed default setting as well. And what lax does is for requests like get request, the cookie is sent. But for post requests, the cookie is not sent if the request is triggered by another website than the one that set the cookie. And this should prevent many of the sort of more dangerous uh, cross site request forging requests where a malicious website embeds a form, uses JavaScript to submit that form, and then, of course, with that post submission, the cookie is sent as well. Now, the last and uh, most restrictive version is strict, which basically means that the cookie is never sent if another website triggers the request. So what Google decided is that starting with version 80 to be released next week, lax will be the default. So if you are setting a cookie, you're not specifying a same site parameter, Google will just assume that you wanted to set it to lax and cookies will no longer be sent if a third party triggers a post request. Great idea overall, should help with privacy and should prevent at least some cross-site request forging exploits. The problem with this is that a lot of websites are using single sign-on, in particular federated identity based on SAML. With federated identity, you are first connecting to a website that website will redirect you to a third party, your identity provider. You will log in to that website, and then that website will typically redirect you back to the website you came from. And with that, it will also trigger you to send the cookie back that you received from that website. And this request is often a post. So, Simplistically speaking, it looks like Google Chrome 
version 80 will break a lot of federated identity. There are a couple workarounds here and a couple sort of things that Google and Google Chrome really here put in play to hopefully help with this issue. First of all, one decision that Google made that in Google Chrome 80, this same site equals lax restriction will not be implemented for the first two minutes of the cookie's lifetime, which should give you enough time to log in to the identity provider. So what would happen here is the first website sets the cookie, sends you to the identity provider, then you're being sent back to the first website after you log in. If this happens within two minutes, all is good. If it takes longer than two minutes, stuff breaks. Or if you do similar things after two minutes, stuff breaks as well. So for example, you're going to the first website, it sets the cookie, you're doing some things that don't require authentication, then you're being redirected to that identity provider. When you're coming back, well, um, you may have issues unless new cookies were set uh, before you were redirected. But for applications that aren't ready yet for this, this may be a problem. Microsoft actually published specific updates with the January update for its Windows Server product, fixing Active Directory Federated Identity just uh, for uh, this particular compatibility issue with Google Chrome. Now, the simple fix that you can apply if you're not using a Microsoft server to implement this is to just add a same site equals none parameter uh, to these cookies. That should prevent the problem uh, if it wouldn't be for incompatible browsers. Probably the most notable here is Safari on iOS 12. Safari on iOS 12 has a known bug. If same site is set to none, it's actually misinterpreted as strict. So it's worse than having it set to the default of lags. Good news is uh, this week, Apple just uh, announced some numbers that only 20% of iOS users are using iOS 12 or older. But then again, iOS is a huge population. So 20% of iOS users may still be quite significant for you. What I recommend is Test your applications, make sure you don't have any dependencies here where cookies would be rejected as a result of this change. Uh, Google Chrome has a very large uh, population, of course, and Google Chrome updates usually populate uh, very quickly with their auto update uh, feature. If you are a Google Chrome user and uh, next week you start seeing issues like this, uh, then of course, uh, this may be the reason behind it. You may want to try a different uh, browser uh, with that uh, particular website to see if you have more luck uh, with logging in. So sorry for spending so much time on this uh, issue, but I think it's uh, relevant and I haven't really seen it covered uh, well in other media. Maybe I'll write it up a little bit uh, tomorrow if I can find the time and uh, provide a few more details and maybe uh, tests uh, for this. One little bit sort of sad part about the same site issue is also when I was researching this, uh, I couldn't actually find sort of a real official standard. So if someone can point me to it, uh, there are two Traft RFCs both have expired. Uh, the older one of them looks very incomplete. The second newer one that expired, I think November uh, last year, um, also looks uh, rather incomplete. So uh, doesn't really, there isn't really not much to go by other than sort of you know, what uh, basic browser makers really published about how they're going uh, to implement it. Well, in other news, uh, the Avast uh, CEO apologized for selling user data. I mentioned yesterday that Avast was called selling its users' data uh, to advertisers and such. They're going to shut down that jump shot subsidiary that they used uh, to market uh, the data. And well, they promise not to just start up and other startup and start over again. Also, if you are still using the Adobe Magento product, the e-commerce platform that Adobe is producing, 
an important or actually critical security update was released that fixed a number of vulnerabilities, including two remote code execution vulnerabilities. So please update this quickly. We have seen in the past that Magento vulnerabilities were exploited uh, quite uh, quickly. So this is it for today. Thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.